Hello, friends. If you have not already, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Um, and we're going to turn the scars into stars. So, y'all know I've been derelict with my videos. And the reason being is that your girl is prego. Last Sunday, so a week ago, we did gender reveal. It's a girl. We're over the moon. Me and the love of my life, who has resurfaced after many moons. But he's back and better than ever. And we have having his daughter, and everybody's very excited. Okay. So, I was already moving. So, I'm decluttering my house. I'm trying to get ready for this baby. This is what explains the mountain of sheets and the new wall color and all those things there. So, it wouldn't be my life if it wasn't some stupidness, right? So, here's my latest plight. This is Kirby. Uh -huh. The brand is Kirby. The brand is Kirby, but we're going to call it Kirby, right? So, this Kirby. And Kirby is my vacuum. Now, those of y'all that know me know that I like pretty things, and I'm a brand whore, like real bad, okay? And my Kirby vacuum has been good to me. I've had it for many years, um, and it's been, it's been working pretty well. But for some reason today, Kirby doesn't want to work, and I'm just like, what the F? Like, all the times that she wasn't going to work, why would you do this to me when I'm trying to sell a house? The people are coming to take the pictures. They finish painting tomorrow. They come to take pictures on Wednesday. The termite people are Tuesday. It hits the market Friday. Um, I did a lot of renovations over my Christmas. My not Christmas. What break we just had? Spring. Spring break. I ain't even going nowhere. I ain't catching no flights. I've been in the house quarantine. You know, the gender reveal was virtual, and I'm, and it's not, it's not working, and I don't understand why. So my Irish twins, Trent thirteen and Trinity twelve. They over here, they got jokes. Psst, 14. About to be 14, about to be 13. My Irish friends. They got jokes. They over here talking crap, talking, talking at cash, talking about I clean too much. The vacuum has been utilized too much, and now it doesn't work. So I said, you know, we got to go live because only in my entitled children could, could say something like this to me. So I'm Googling to find out how long Kirby vacuums last. And, and we're going to see how long they last, okay? Questions, comments, concerns? I don't think it's that bad. I think I think that I think that I could get another seven years out of this thing. Okay, the condition that it's in, and then you got it. It's as old as Trinity. So I got it when Trinity was a few months old, yes. So me, Crystal, and another friend, they came into military housing, and they had all the attachments. Get off the thing. And you know our good friend in North Cuba, Chief blah blah blah, threw away the attachments. A lot of the attachments are not here. So all I have is the hose, a couple of pieces that go on here, but I don't have the shampoo or anything. And this vacuum was supposed to be like twenty two hundred, and because the three of us agreed to buy it on the same day, we got it for seventeen. Seventeen hundred. Now I know that probably seems like a lot, but these vacuums last at least twenty years. And it's only been 13 years. So imagine buying an average vacuum. And then... Yeah, you're going to spend like three, 400 on a regular vacuum and it might last you two or two to five years. Yeah, but then you bought this and it lasts 13, 13 years. years. That's mad years. So I think it's time to... Hammy was supposed to live like 20, not even 20, like longer than he Okay, did. so my defense, I think the, the hamster might have been, the hamster might have been hibernated. And we threw away yeah. a lot. Yeah, because he wasn't stink. He'd have been rotting in after a couple of hours. And he we threw away a hamster. I, th I thought he was I thought he was dead. And then later we found out <laughs> them shits hibernate. So, whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry, animal rights people. I have no confirmation. Peter don't come for me. I didn't smell stink. I checked. I, I tried to shake it. I poked him. He didn't move. I wasn't going to wait for it to stink up my house. I'm just not on that type of time. So, I don't know. In any case, we talking about the Kirby. I think that I need to take it to the vacuum shop. Trini thinks I need to invest in a new vacuum. Yes. Yeah, throw that thing out. You know the vacuum that we had when we were in South Carolina? It the was hand no vacuum? Strings, and it could just turn it around. It was no strings. 
I mean, that thing fell down the stairs one time. Right? But this this vacuum, I bought it in Hawaii. It's been with us from Hawaii to New York to California. This is for staying in like one place. Why well, this thing is like everywhere. Well, we are military. Fa- it's not season. <laughs> We're a military family, and you know, even the bags for the like the 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 the, the rubber thing, the little rubber band. It said it comes in a three pack for like thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Yeah, I, it's a really good vacuum. I I think y'all are entitled, and y'all just don't like to clean. So I y'all are happy that the vacuum. <laughs> Okay, we clean. I said we should invest in a new vacuum. Yeah, I, I said, need to invest in a new vacuum. I already invested in this one. Okay, I, I said, said I said that worst case scenario we have to buy a new vacuum. That's a worst, bro. I don't have no money. That's why I'm selling the house. <laughs> that's that's why it's the worst one. What do you mean? Oh, okay, anyways, um, no, I think we should invest in a new vacuum while we move. You know how you're saying we should get new things like yeah, we should definitely have we have a fresh life. Yes. Forks. We need forks. These Negroes be scraping my forks no, in the trash. I'm sure of it. We, we no need food. all new cutlery. I mean, Black don't wear. you throw the, okay. you know, the mugs and the forks in the yard? I'm not. Me- Listen, that's mugs. I throw mugs in the yard because when I'm ready to go to work and there's mug there, it's like I don't have time to think about it. I gotta get to work. I gotta go work these people's job. In any case, mm-hmm. them y'all tell me what y'all think. They want me to. They want me to throw away my Kirby. My Kirby has been good to me, and I googled it. I Googled it and it says Kirby vacuums last 20 years. Oh, did my phone die? Damn sure did. Listen, Kirby vacuums last 20 years, which means I have another seven years in this one. It's probably just an electrical yeah, short. Seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you. Um, I think I think that I'm gonna take her to the doctor. I'm gonna take her to the vacuum shop. And this, and I will vacuum That's again. That's a thing. I probably get a little busy. No, they <laughs> they have vacuum shops for these. All you gotta do is find a Kirby dealer around. Yeah, you Google it. Yup, you search it, and they and then you take it down there, and they fix the problem, and then they give you a bill. They fix it. You probably be sitting there for twenty years waiting for business. No, people buy these vacuums, and it's the only you might buy two of these in your life. Oh wait, two. I... Yes, my grandmother had one of these. And that joke was pre- that thing was prehistoric. The new ones are more lightweight. This one, it has a handle. You can pick it up, right? It's got all the attachments. Well, I don't got no damn more. But this one about to fall on. Don't just leave him. Leave her alone. This is the Kirby Sentra. Anybody has a Kirby Sentra that it happens to not be turning on? I plugged it up. It's not turning on. I've got the the, the everything in place. I've, you know, I don't know what's wrong. So drop a link in the comments. Let me know what's up. I don't know. My entitled children think I need a new vacuum. I'm not ready to let go. I, I commit. Like anybody with dreads commits. Like I, I love my vacuum. I feel like I can work harder. Look at all of this. Look, you, you're committed. You have dreadlocks. I guess. I mean, he was, she was more committed than you were or are. Well, that makes sense. Well, I was forced to Oh yeah, and guess what? You're doing famously. Her hair looks beautiful. In any case, y'all, y'all gotta help me out. Between these children, I, I can't, I can't afford a new vacuum. I refuse to be taking the proceeds from this home sale and investing in things that I already have. I'm gonna invest in some new kids, like this one right here. All right. So wish me luck, y'all. I, obviously, I have to fold these up and put them in the boxes for storage and stuff like that but i can't afford another vacuum right now so if y'all want to pass a hat i am not above um donations so let me know who's good with the what's good <laughs> i i ain't got it i ain't got it new countertop new backsplash painted cabinets um the entire house has been painted uh like there's tiles everywhere like i this is my life now like this is my actual this is my life. So help me out. Oh, ooh, oh, if you have a vacuum I can borrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would not hold it against you. All right. Like, subscribe, follow, um, and turn the scars into stars. You know, it, it's a lot going on. Nothing can ever be regular in my life. Obviously, I can't even clean up. With, it's just always something. So help me out. And the baby is coming October 7th. It's a girl. And if you want to send me a gift, 
Uh, we have peace. All right, bye. <laughs> peace, peace. Bye.